The cam sensor lets the ECM know the camshaft's rotational speed and position. There are three main types of cam position sensors. The magnetic, hall effect, and magneto-resistive sensors. The last two work the same way and produce a square wave. The magnetic sensor generates its own signal. It is composed of an internal coil that captures the magnetic field and has two wires. One wire is the sensor ground, and the other is the signal wire itself. To test these sensors, connect an oscilloscope or graphing multimeter, such as the ATP Scope 1 Pro. Crank the engine and look for a sine or rounded waveform. A minimum of 2 volts peak to peak is needed for the signal to get recognized by the module. The Hall effect and magneto resistive sensor has three wires and an internal transistor. The sensor ground, the 12 volt reference, and the signal wire, which is usually a 5 volt reference. It is the job of the three wire Hall effect sensor to toggle or bring this 5 volt reference voltage to ground as the engine turns. Perform more Hall effect sensor tests with key on, engine off. To test the Hall effect sensor, connect a test light to battery positive. Then, probe at the sensor ECM provided ground. You should see a bright light. Change the test light to battery ground and probe at the sensor's 12 volt reference wire. Again, the test light should be lit. Finally, to test the signal circuit, do not use a test light. Use a multimeter or oscilloscope. Connect to the sensor's signal wire. With key on, engine off should see reference voltage, usually 5 volts. Then, crank the engine and look for a square wave at the scope screen or a changing DC voltage. Magnetic sensors produce a sine wave. Hall effect sensors produce a square wave. A trick to use on a non-responsive sensor is to connect a test light to battery ground. Turn the key on, disconnect the cam sensor, and momentarily touch the signal wire, on and off. This should trigger the sensor into producing a signal. A final trick to use is to grab a soldering gun, put the back part close to the sensor, and press the trigger. The expanding magnetic field from the soldering gun will make the sensor create a signal. If no signal, then the sensor may be defective. 